Okay, let's try that one more time. Good morning, Pickleball Attic. Are you guys ready to watch some amazing pickleball here at PPA Day 3? Are you feeling good? How good are you feeling? So good. How good are you feeling? How good are you feeling? That's great. That's right, it's fun to feel good, so make sure you stay hydrated out there. Are you ready for this next match? Ben Johns, Matt Wright, put your hands together. <laughs> Steve Deacon, Dave the Badger, Weinbach, put those hands together. Well, Mesa, Arizona. Well, we're have a Welcome back to Championship Court. Mark Renison here bringing you live coverage from the Grand Slam qualifier here in Mesa, Arizona. This is the first of seven stops on the PPA Tour over the course of the year. More than $500,000 in prize money is what these players are vying for. And right now, you are looking at a match that very well could be a championship match. The caliber of play is going to be incredible out here. We've got Ben Johns and Matt Wright in the green and the black, warming up with each other. And they're going to be taking on Dave the Badger Weinbach and Steve the Beaver Deacon. Steve is a fellow Canadian. He's actually in here with Dave in the broadcast booth yesterday after his gold medal performance in the men's senior pro, uh, the mixed senior pro, I should say. And he was saying, can't wait to play with the Beaver tomorrow. These players are just finishing their warm-up. They're going to get underway in a second. Tell you a little bit about where these players came from to make it here in the previous round. Why don't we start at the beginning? It's fun to start at the beginning. Dave Weinbach and Steve Deacon, they won their first match 11-7, 11-2 against Philip Lamoureux and Pesa Teone. They then went on to defeat Daniel De La Rosa and Elias... Lely. 
two straight games, 11-7, 11-0. They then had a little more trouble with Zane Affleck and Tyler Loon, losing the first game 11-1, but then coming back strong, 11-6, 11-5, to make it to this part of the match. Meanwhile, Matt Wright and Ben Johns, let's take a look what they did. They got a buy in the first round as the number one seeds. They then beat Steven Hendricks and Nick Hart. 11-6, 13-11. Uh, pardon me, 11-2, 11-2 after that bye. Wright and Johns then beat Rafa Hewitt. And Shelton Webster, Jean-Baptiste. 11-5, 11-3. And then they beat Altaf Merchant and Jeff Warnick, 11-9, 11-3, and that's how we're here. So we're looking at the first serve about to come up. 0-0-2, Dave Weinbach about to deliver to Ben Johns, here we go. And with that side out, Ben Johns is going to take over serving responsibilities. Right now, Sun could be a little bit of a factor. It's high right now. It's about 11.15. Ball goes just long. Ben Johns a little too fired up early on. And uh, my prediction is that if the Sun is a factor, it's going to be more so for the team that's on the side where Wright and Johns are right now. couple things to look forward to in this match here. So many strong backhands. That's very often the difference between being a winning team or not is how well you can not only defend with that backhand side, but counterattack against it. All four of these players, four of the best backhands in the business. Look for Steve Deacon to use his backhand slice return. There it is. Talk about backhand attacking shots. Ben Johns puts away that volley. It's going to be a point for them. Three, zero, two. Expect to see. There we go. That's kind of what I was thinking. Expect to see Wright and Johns go predominantly at Deacon. That's going to force Weinbach to slide over a little bit to cover that middle. To maybe look to anticipate something, and that can open up a down the line opportunity as we saw there. 4 0 2, Wright and John's out to an early lead. Count that 5 0 2. All right, we're going to stay here, even though they're going for a quick hydration break. Brought to you by Jigsaw Health. It's fun to feel good. Let's say hi to a few people who are watching. Let us know where you're watching from. I'm Mark Renison from Collingwood, Ontario, Canada. Although right now here in beautiful Mesa, Arizona. Some interesting conversations going on in the comment stream about different ways to bring live pickleball to the fans. So happy to be here, part of the team at Pro Pickleball Media. Assisted by Steve Taylor from Digital Spatula. And this crystal clear audio and video is Thanks to our friends over at Logitech. And I am happy to welcome to the broadcast booth a special guest and special guest. You've been with us before. That's the first clue I'm going to give, but we're not going to give away too much who you are just yet. So special guest, uh, you've been sitting beside me for a little while. Any observations so far in this match? Just good, solid pickleball, Mark. It's good to be here. Thanks for having me and enjoying the view here in the booth, bringing it to you live, folks. Ben Johns, big forehand. That is a lively forehand that Ben Johns <laughs> possesses. <laughs> Zero five two. Steve Deak and Dave Weinbach, they're trying to get something going here against the number one seeds, Johns and Wright. As you can see uh, Steve there kind of telling Dave, just take it easy, settle right in, we can do this. Lofty serve from Matt Wright. They take the net. 
Ooh, big slap. The ball goes just wide, and you know what, special guest, you have such a distinctive voice that already Gail Bagwell, Gail Bagwell realized it was you. We are, of course, joined by Rob Cassidy here in the broadcast booth. Nice. That's an around the post opportunity just wide, though. Yeah, Mark, thanks for having me. Gail, how the heck are you? Love you. Love all the, all the uh, pickleball fans out there. Uh, I'm happy to be here bringing the live action. Steve Deacon with a huge forehand. Follows it up with a nice drop as he takes the net. Nice hands. Dink battle here. A little high, but he covers it. Seven cover. Zero five two. Looking to get on the board here. Nice backhanded drop. Oh! Shocking attack. Dave trying to call him off on that one. Trying to tell Steve to let that out ball go out. 5-0-1. 5-0-1. Wright and John's looking to add to their lead here. It's so tough when you play a team like Wright and John's, Rob. Is I mean, they're really... There are no obvious weaknesses. Yeah. There's, there's nowhere safe to hit. They're both yeah. tall players with quick hands. Dave Weinbach yesterday was saying that Ben John's not only has... Uh, the quickest hands in pickleball in his estimation, but also the strongest, mm. meaning that he could counterattack when that ball comes fast at him better than some of the other players. Yeah, yeah, and into the, in addition to that, those lack of weaknesses there, they also have great movement. Both players have great movement on the court, and so in addition to that, that reach and that power, it's quite the combo. We'll see what Steve and Dave can do to uh, keep themselves in this game. Wine back there. Shows why he's known as having some of the fastest hands in pickleball. That's right. Dave, of course, uh, yesterday was playing in the senior division, senior pro division in the mixed doubles. He and partner Chris Anderson, they took gold, and he's playing here in the pro division along with Mr. Steve Deacon. 8-0-2. Nice deep return there. Ernie attempt, unnecessary. Another point on the board. Steve Deacon and Dave Weinbach still looking to figure out the puzzle here. 9 0 2, Wright and Johns out to a quick lead. Cross court battle, backhand to backhand. Steve Deacon coming from Canada, number one player in Canada. <coughs> ben Johns, number one. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> number <laughs> 1. 1.5. <laughs> <laughs> Dink battle goes in favor of Steve and Dave. Huge side out. Time to start that climb right here. That's actually a pretty epic dink battle between the number one in Canada, no offense, Mark, and the number one in the country uh, in the U.S., uh, Ben Johns. Yeah, so tough. I'm not sure. Not much they could do there. There's that first blood for Team Deacon and Weinbach. The seal is broken. Can the floodgates start to flow? Classic drop from Weinbach. Oh, out of the air. That touches ball, not, or touches not sure whether it got, somehow it went right between the elbow and the body of Matt Wright. He tried to play that ball. Ball gets through, on, uh, not touching Matt. Puts him the second serve. Oh, nice get. Yep, but Ben Johns puts it right where it needs to go. So good, Wright and Johns at opening up the court, using those cross courts that uh, even if Weinbach does come over to cover the middle, that's gonna open up a hole on his side of the court. So tough serve, a low ball, doesn't come up very high and that's gonna set up our first game point here. Well, it's gonna be a quick break here, quick hydration break. That's how, no, no, we have to, we have to. <laughs> nice. Quick break, we're gonna be back with more here from Mesa. People have this conception that pickleball, oh, that's an old person sport, but I don't think they realize how physically demanding it is with those quick bursts and long, grueling points. The first US Open, I found myself cramping in two different events. When you start cramping, it's too late. And when I first started playing, I wasn't ready for that. The biggest difference I feel on the court with Jigsaw products is I'm not cramping at all. It gives you that mental confidence that your body's going to hold up. Jigsaw products will provide a lot of value to you both on and off the court. Today. And we're back live here, Mark Renison alongside Rob Cassidy here on Championship Court at the Mesa Tennis Center in beautiful Mesa, Arizona. You're watching a men's pro 
doubles match here. And Ben Johns and Matt Wright, the number one seeds, they're out to a quick start. They've got a game point here at 10-1. Bonnie, appreciate the shout out. Me and Mark, yes, Mark is hard at work and I'm happy to be here with them folks, bringing you this live action, getting ready to get going here. 10-1 on the one. Game point, see how they'll play it here. Ernie attempt, or the Ernie look rather, not even attempt. I mean, it's showing sometimes the that happens, right? It's amazing how many times if one player attempts the Ernie, then that sort of puts pressure on the person hitting the dink. But right now, not a lot of pressure on Johns and Wright as they rip away nice hands with another Dave. game point. Ooh. There it is. Yeah, that and Ernie look can really cause a lot of issues there, yeah. That's right. Well, right now, Weinbach and Steve Deacon are going to try to figure out their issues. We're going to go to a quick break. We're going to be back more here. Mark Renison, Rob Cassidy from Mesa, Arizona. Woo! championship court right now is the PPA Pro Team throwing out some creamies ice cream to the fans and things are heating up here on championship court. Game two, here we come. In game number one, if you're just joining us, Ben Johns, Matt Wright, they won comfortably. 11-1. Dave Weinbach, Steve Deacon looking to change their fortunes here in game number two as Ben Johns gets ready to serve to Dave Weinbach. I'm your host, Mark Renison, joined by Rob Cassidy here in the broadcast booth. And Rob, any uh, suggestions for Weinbach and Deacon? Ooh, that right there. Just staying firm, playing your game, and letting Dave Weinbach's hand do what they do best and take care of business. That backhand from Dave Weinbach down the middle, fantastic to get that ball in their hands. they got to come out hot here and just really set the pace and, and, and dictate the pace of the game in their favor here. So that's what I would hope that they start to do. There they go. On the board, one nothing. Got the lead. That's just a, such a better start than how they came out a little flat in game one. Uh, as we know, it's a game of streaks, and uh, looks like they're picking up momentum right here. Hopefully they can keep it. Yeah, so Dave Felt was asking about the timeout. So one of the interesting things happening at the PPA Tour is that uh, for every game, after 11 points, there's going to be a quick timeout, and that gives the players a break. It also gives us a chance to uh, show a little love to the sponsors that make such a great oh tour uh, possible. More than $550,000 in prize money, as well as appearance fees for the top pros. And uh, we've got some really great partners that make it possible to bring not just these great tournaments to the people who live near them, but also to you at home on the live stream. So uh, it's a, a little bit new for the players. They're not always accustomed to that automatic TV timeout, but you see the same thing in other professional sports, whether it's hockey or football, baseball, basketball, where there will be those TV timeouts that uh, allow us to keep the lights on here at the PPA. Meanwhile, right now, Ben Johns trying to go to work on Dave Weinbach. Weinbach doing a good job of keeping him back preventing him from coming in, and that ball goes just wide. Huge smack from Matt right there. Uh, Steve Deacon and Dave Weinbach got their two points. Uh, they went one for two on the third shot drive into the finish. Uh, we'll see if they continue to uh, to develop that pattern. Uh, looking to get that ball back score is one, two, one. A little high, Deacon plays the bounce, nice attack. Matt not able to, to bring it back. Matt Wright serving to Dave Weinbach here. 
Beautiful day here in Mesa, Arizona. Ooh, the classic serve return from Dave Weinbach. All four players at the net. Little high. Oh, and he sets himself up for the put away. Dave Weinbach so good with that one-two punch. We'll say hi to a few other people who are watching. Jay Hall is watching. Hi to Jay. Steve Norman watching from New Zealand. We got a shout out from the Northwest Territories of Canada, Todd Pilon. Pilon, Pilon. 3 1 1 here. Steve Deacon, Dave Weinbach settling in. Nice and focused. That's going to be four with a beautiful drop shot from Dave Weinbach. Uh, ben, that was a tough ball. Could have let it bounce, could have taken it out of the air, but a tough shot nonetheless. 4 1 1. Weinbach, Deacon, happy with how things are going so far. They've turned their fortunes a little bit after losing game number one, 11-1. These are some nice unattackable balls from Team Weinbach, Deacon. Working the point, finding you know, the correct ball. One of the things I notice, Rob, that's going to be a lob. tough ball to get. He's getting the hustle. Oh, and he's not going to do it. A beautiful genius lob by the one and only Matt Wright. A little smirk from him after that to his sideline. So one of the things I notice in those cross-court dinking rallies, Rob, is that Steve is taking more steps to set up for that ball than Ben is when he goes uh -huh. cross-court. And you got to think that over time, that's going to favor. Look wow. how much Deacon had to move there. That's going to favor John's. Big overhead. Deacon's there. Recovery. Big smash. Woo! That's perfect placement. Another day at the office for Matt Wright. little communication between the partners there just kind of sharing their observations on the court it's good strategy seeing what they see what they see and sharing it cross court ding from Deacon backhand to backhand Canada versus US in a dink rally <laughs> this is what I mean by Deacon taking more steps right he's taking one or two uh -huh. steps every time to get out to that backhand yeah. whereas Ben is content to just sort of reach for it and use uh, his hands to control the ball. It's a little bit riskier to do that. You've got to be really precise with the touch. But over time, you know, if you think about... Beautiful blazing shot down the sideline by Ben Johns. If you think about those dinking rallies being, you know, eight or nine balls each over a, the course of a match, that's going to mean a lot more steps, a lot more movement for Deacon. Ben Johns can't reset that ball. So you think he has the advantage with the more steps that he's taking to be a, get a better shot? Or is, is Ben Johns a little more stable with the less steps? Yeah, so I think the idea is that, I mean, look, it's hard to be precise the further away you are from the ball, right? Um, so he's working hard to set up well. Ben is a taller player. Uh, I mean, not by much, but Ben is a taller player. Yeah. But uh, his hands are so good and he's so precise that he can afford to reach for that ball and still play it back with quality. Slicey return there. Weinbach handles it with that ping pong background. Ooh, the lob is up. Oh, and he just misses it. Matt Wright is on fire right now. Smooth sailing for this guy, for this gentleman. Playing the game very well, very strategic, and he is, he's, he is, he's cruising. Two for one. Another lob. Falls into the sun. That's true. Deacon can just barely get it back in play. Couldn't afford to take a big cut at it. the net handled by Weinbach another lob attempt Deacon with the reset Weinbach holds his ground little high Deacon backs up for it Ben with the slap not there much Dave can do with that one another so, point on the board so we talked earlier about the idea sometimes you'll hear Rob about this idea of you know if you've got him back keep him back in that case Deacon was back but because the ball was high but because the ball was high they actually hit at the player at the net who was Weinbach because right. he was sort of the sitting duck there. Deacon can't quite keep, keep up to that ball. That's going to be a point for Ben Johns and Matt Wright. Score game is suddenly tied here at 4-4-1. Big poach. Weinbach handles. The ball's up. Again, can't see it. You can't see it. Plays the bounce. Good reset. Weinbach's oh, there. Let's that ball sell, but it's in. Watch Deacon out. covers. Oh, he can't. Weinbach does his best to cover, but if he let that ball go through, Deacon was actually there. Great yeah, effort. It actually went off the body of 
Oh. Wind back. So you're seeing more defensive lobs here than we would normally see from Wright and Johns, and that's because they know that Weinbach and Wright are going to be looking into the sun, and so Weinbach and Deacon staring into the sun. They're not usually able to take a full cut at that ball if they want to put it away. Deacon was not able to, to overhead that ball for that exact reason. Forced to play the bounce because of the sun. That ball in the net, that's another point for Wright and Johns. 6-4-1. Nice backhanded smash by Steve Deacon. Six four two a lob, lob serve into serve. the sun. There it is. Well handled by Deacon, and a good counterattack by Wright. That's going to be a point. Another lob serve. Can you believe it, folks? Wow. Another point, 8-4-2. Wright and Johns continue to work their way through game number two after winning game number one, 11 one They want to stay in the winner's side. There's going to be a quick timeout. We're going to quick take a quick break as well. This hydration break brought to you by Jigsaw Health. People have this conception that pickleball, oh, that's an old person sport, but I don't think they realize how physically demanding it is with those quick bursts and long, grueling points. The first U.S. Open, I found myself cramping in two different events. When you start cramping, it's too late. And when I first started playing, I wasn't ready for that. The biggest difference I feel on the court with Jigsaw products is I'm not cramping at all. It gives you that mental confidence that your body is going to hold up. Jigsaw products will provide a lot of value to you both on and off the court. Welcome back to Championship Court here at the Pro Pickleball Association Grand Slam Qualifier here in Mesa, Arizona. We've been watching right now number one seeds, Matt Wright and Ben Johns. Putting a lot of pressure on Dave Weinbach and Steve Deacon. 8-4-2, count that 9-4-2 here in game number two. After Johns and Wright won game number one, it's Mark Rennes alongside Rob Cassidy. That's right, 9-4-2, Ben Johns. Beautiful drop shot. Oh, a nice little switch, big poach. And off the hand of Weinbach into match point. Here we go. After using very strategic tactics of essentially blinding their opponents, their opponents legally using the sun, here they are with match point number one. Big ball, he still can't really attack it because of that sun. Another pop up, tough to see, must play the bounce. Smacks it as hard as he can, hustles as hard as he can. Big overhead from Ben, huge backhand from right, still in the point, plays the bounce, through the legs, but it's out. But it's out, looks for the cherry on the cake. Into a side out. We're gonna have a couple more points here. Folks. All right, just a quick heads up, at the end of this match, we got more great action coming up. We're going to have Colin Johns and Adam Stone taking on Tyson McGuffin and Riley Ooh, Newman in a loser's a bracket match. Those teams are going to play just to stay alive here in this tournament. So you're going to want to stay close. You should have hit that share button here as we continue the great action here. Oh, yeah. Weinbach and Deacon trying to fight their way out of this hole against Wright and Ben Johns. 4-10-2. Steve Deacon goes for the counterattack off the backhand. Would have been fine, except it caught the top of the net, which redirected it out of bounds. And another match point here, Ben John serving. That's a free swinging serve there from Ben Johns. Catch the top of the net. Let's see if he does it again. No, a little safer. Another lob. Weinbach gets it out of the air. Huge smash. And with that counterattack backhand, Ben Johns, Matt Wright, they're going to move on. The number one seed stay alive. Steve Deacon and Dave Weinbach, they're going to go into the loser's bracket. They're going to try to fight their way back to challenge for gold and $5,000 in prize money. Rob, thanks a lot for joining me in the booth for this. Absolutely, man. I hope to stay with you. This is good stuff. Very good stuff. All right. So I'm going to do a quick interview, on-court interview with the players. Stay close. I'm going to go right out there right now. So hold on. Thanks for joining us, guys.
Great match coming up here. Brother Colin Johns, along with Adam Stone, taking on Tyson McGuffin and Riley Newman. So stay close. Uh, thanks, guys. Good luck going forward. Well, 